Howdy, y'all. You've been asking me to do some things about negative exponents, so I've put together a little video and hope it'll help you do uh, understand uh, negative exponents a little bit better. You're going to need to know uh, your exponents and your exponent rules. You need to know the quotient rule, the power rule, and the uh, product rule. So if you don't know those, go to my channel and find the videos on exponents and do them. Then come back here. All right, you're going to learn what a negative exponent means and how it works. So let's get started. A negative exponent means a fraction. That's what it means. You see a negative exponent, think fraction. If you have a negative exponent in the uh, numerator, put it in the denominator. If you have a ne negative exponent in the denominator, put it in the numerator. Because when you cross that line, you can change the sign. And here's an example. x to the negative m equals 1 over x to the m. It's that simple. Here's the proof. x squared over x cubed. We know uh, that we can subtract those exponents. And so x squared minus 3 uh, equals x to the negative 1. However, we also know that x squared equals x over or x times x and x cubed equals x times x times x. Substitute those back into the fraction and you have x x over x x x. Cross out the uh, common variables and you're going to have 1 over x. Therefore, x to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over x. All right, let's look and see how it works. x cubed over x to the fourth equals, well, that's going to be x3 minus 4. Um, according to the uh, quotient rule, and that'll give us x to the negative 1, and we would rewrite that as x or 1 over x. That's all there is to it. And then x to the negative 3 over x to the negative 4, that's the same as a complex or compound fraction, and we can rewrite it as 1 uh, over x cubed over 1 over x to the 4th. And we know that uh, we can use the... Uh, rule for dividing fractions, flip over the denominator, and uh, multiply. So that's going to give us x to the 1, which when reduced is the same as x. Another way to look at it, um, using our shortcut, is that x to the negative 3 plus because the negative 4 is going to change signs when, or you can look at it as when you subtract a negative you get a positive so negative 3 plus 4 equals 1 and that's the same as X all right let's look at some common examples some common examples here example number 1 6 to the negative 2 well that can be rewritten as 1 over 6 squared Simplify that to 1 over 36, and it is simplified. Now, that's the goal in doing these, is to simplify. And remember, you can't have negative or shouldn't have negative exponents uh, in a um, expression. Example number 2. 3 over 2, quantity to the negative 3. Now, that's the same as saying... Um, uh, 3 uh, divided by 2 to the th negative third power and having 1 over it, putting that in the denominator. And that means then we could flip it and realize then that simplified it's going to be 2 thirds quantity to the third power. So that's taking care of the negative right there. Now, we can go through that. 2 to the third power is 8 and 3 to the third power is 27. There's nothing that cross cancels or reduces, and voila, 
it's simplified. All right, here we have a third example, and we have b to the negative 2c squared over b to the negative 5. Now, nothing combines or cancels out, but remember, we can't have negative exponents. Therefore, uh, we can rewrite the b to the negative 2 as b squared, and we can rewrite d to the negative 5 by bringing it up with the c squared, and we have d5 uh, c squared. And nothing else can be uh, combined, so it's simplified, and we're done. Now here for a final example, we have 18 x cubed y to the 4th power z to the 7th over negative 2 um, x to the square y z. And we want to do is rewrite this in such a way that we can use our exponent rules. And we know that when we cross the line, we change the sign. But first, we also know that we shouldn't have a negative 2 uh, in the denominator. Uh, everything should be positive in the denominator if there is a denominator. So let's just take 18 and divide it by negative 2. Well, that's real nice. It comes out to negative 9. Then we're going to have x cubed minus um, 2 to take care of the x squared in the denominator. And so we have that right there, and we're going to subtract that, and it's going to be 1. And then we have y, 4, uh, minus 1, and we're going to take and get 3. And then we're going to have z to the 7 minus 1, which is going to give us 6. And if we take and simplify all that, we're going to have uh, negative 9, x, y cubed, z to the 6th. And that is simplified, and we're done. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me two thumbs up. Check out some of my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye, y'all.